Hi, come on in. And join in. It's the very merry life. Hi, I'm Mary Hendricks, and you might know me as that relatable AF mama over on Instagram who hopefully feels like an old friend at this point. And if not, it won't be long till it feels that way as we get raw, unfiltered, and very unapologetic in all things motherhood, marriage, sex, and more. From moments worth savoring to moments worth surviving, get ready to leave feeling seen and supported. You have a friend here now. So, hey, take a seat. What's going on? Hi everyone. <laughs> we we're kicking evening. off the podcast. Good morning. I was Katie and I were just like chatting before recording and I was like, I'm just gonna hit record and we're gonna do that. But I was telling Katie, and you guys are gonna hear this. If you saw my stories on Instagram, I actually asked because I was like, Does anyone know how to publish a children's book and have background in that? So if you saw that, then that's what we're talking about. I am, however, you're gonna hear like some elevator music in a second when I read to Katie. You know what? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just going to edit it out. So you're going to hear a blip disappear. That way you don't hear what I wrote. Um but know that that's something that's in the works in addition to a few other things which we will talk about after I tell Katie as to what this is. Um I'm so fucking excited about it. Like it, and I'm like such like a not to toot my own horn, but it was like a, I came up with that idea and then I went downstairs and I was like, there are words that like just appeared in my head. And I was like, yeah. this is so weird. I'm just going to go with it. Cause I'm not like, I'm creative, yeah. but I'm not that fucking creative. <laughs> Oh so, my God, Mary, like, that was so freaking good. I'm so pumped, but I'm like, I'm now so I just need like it. the illustration and stuff to like the illustration's big. So like, I'm going to yeah. be picky on that part, but yes. we'll see. Oh my friggin' we'll God. Well, you yeah. know that I would be first online to friggin' buy a copy of that. I'm but- pumped. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I told the Kev, I like read it to him. I was like, I'm pumped because this could actually be something that like you give like your, you can it's- give to anyone, like you give to your daughter. And then I'm like wondering yeah. if there's a way that I can spin it to be a dad version but I'll think about that on a different. Oh, I mean, boy. yeah, there's so many you, there. You could spin off. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So, <gasps> we'll see. You, you're, I'm not that, you're like, I'm not that creative. Yes, you friggin' are. I've been on a creative role lately, so I will <laughs> say that, but it's not been my norm. I'm like on a slump, but I'm trying to like get Oh my away God, from... I love that. Thanks. I'm I trying love to get away it. from uh, Instagram world, social media. Like I absolutely love it, but I think that's why I'm pouring so much into like the podcast and – yeah. Everything else because I just well, because want ha- that. What's it going to be like in 10 years? They, they're making it so difficult to just grow and be, you know, it's, it's really hard some days. And yeah. I mean, like you said, like I was watching your stories today, like you're getting close to your period and you're doing the imposter syndrome. I do the same thing. Like when I'm like mm. feeling in my feels, I'm like, why am I on here? What am I doing? What's my purpose? Why do I share so much of my life? This is, this is a job. It is a job. It's a you have to show up every day, but yeah, yeah, this is something great that you can always fall back on and it's going to do freaking great. I mean, look at Linda from Fruits of Motherhood. Like her book is killing it. Oh, I didn't know she had a book. I'm going to have to look that she up. She had a book. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should ask her. Maybe I should t- yeah. talk to her. Um, yeah. I think for you, I told you we were going to strategize. That's what maybe yes. this podcast could be strategizing. Yes, we're strategizing, Mary. I think that you need to do more vlogs. Yes. And put them out as reels. Yep. And I think you need to commit and I think you should challenge yourself to do a reel every single day for 30 days. Yes. I need to do that. I know that that sounds so daunting, but I think you should just do it. And I, I think you just vlog and you get like, go one day ahead and then put it out the next day. And it could be like not a whole day vlog. Like you can... Watch yeah, like, just my this, morning. I mean, my morning is morning. like my whole fucking day. <laughs> morning or like just an afternoon, but like a, especially like if you're on TikTok a lot, seeing like all of that. Like some people yes. literally do like a vlog for prepping lunch for their kids. Yeah, so and people like, like love those mini vlogs because it's like kind of captivating and it doesn't. It's you're not there too long. Yeah, I know. Well, I need. I really need to step up my my game on here. It's hard because now I'm working like four days a week, and I'm like, shit. When do I have time? But even like doing something like that, I don't know how much you can film it at work, but even if you did something to like prep to show people what goes into like an ultrasound and like stuff like that. um, Yeah. As long as I don't film any patient information or any patient without consent, um, you know, that I can, I can film a lot at work, Yeah, but 
I know. Yeah, that way you can like get stuff like that done, but it gives a different side. I mean, it's everything that you put into your stories because again, if you guys are listening, Katie's stories are like the best thing ever, but that's what <laughs> needs to married. be in a reel because that's what people are going to see. Stories don't go yeah. anywhere. Stories don't get reach. Um, no. And also like I, I posted, I was going to post this story and I was like, this would be a good reel. And you know, you never know it's hit or miss. Like And if anyone's listening that wants to like do this, like you have to do it every day. You have to show up every day and you have to be on your game. But like, I was like, you know what? I think this is funny and fuck it. I'm just going to put it up there. It's been not even about, it's been 24 hours. I have, you know, a decent, a decent viewership over 18, 17,000 views. So, you know, it's, you're right. It's just like people like the raw and realness, not just like the talk, but the speak overs and all those things. Like, so yeah, I just got to pull a few hundred pages out of your book. <laughs> that's all, that's literally what did it for me though, because I remember yeah. Brock, what is it? Brock Johnson, like the guy that does like mm-hmm. all the Instagram, like tutorial shit. He back, whenever my page really jumped like two years ago, he did a 30 day real challenge and yeah. I decided to take it on and I did it. And I, that's when my account fucking just yeah. rocket and I'm going to tell you the the best part about doing that is that it takes you out of the having to think about it so much yeah. because some you of the do. best performing yeah some of the best performing things I've ever done have taken me literally like uh the reel I just did about like hands out like saying hands out hands oh, yeah. out like big yeah. mama voice I did that in 2 seconds because it literally was me just like taking clips of it and I didn't think about it. I didn't set up my phone in any particular way. Like the one scene I have my phone put on a coffee mug and I just like turned it towards me. I, I don't really take that much time in the moment. Like you start not taking that much, like not. Yeah. It, then it becomes I, just easier. Yeah. Because you want to just show people what you're like, what they can expect. And like, you know, yeah, I, it's I don't like want a little glimpse. to come to my page. Yeah, I don't want someone yeah. to come to my page and think that they're going to get like perfection because I'm like, eh, it's not, <laughs> it's not. Gonna oh happen. God, no. I mean, look at me. No. If you guys can actually see me, I look like a character from. Uh, it looks like I'm Jon Snow from. What's that? Look at me. I'm like <laughs> I'm covered in a blanket. Throwing. I do have my wine. I actually haven't drank wine in so long. I was um, say like that on I here. I've seen you drinking wine on your. No, stories. I haven't had you any know, wine in in four months. I know. <laughs> I don't really have a desire to like drink anymore. It's weird. It's so weird. Like if you knew Katie, like 15 years ago, Katie, even 10 years, years ago, Katie, I was a booze hound. I mean, there is a reason why I'm called mommy needs more wine, but now I'm like, yeah. mommy needs a motherfucking nap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Ditto. <laughs> Literally my life. No, it's just not fun anymore. Like the hangover isn't worth it's not even that. Like the last time we, oh, Kevin and I drank on that like day oh, date yeah. that we did up in Martha's Vineyard. Oh my God, I got yes. So hungover from that yeah. where I was like dead. And I was like, this is not even worth it. And I didn't drink. I mean, it. I drank a lot. It, it was so great. It was wonderful. But yeah. Yeah. It, in the moment, really you're like, this is amazing, especially day drinking. Like, bring me out, feed me some beer or like whatever. A mimo- mimosas really get me effed up, like bad. Oh yeah. I don't know if oh, it's yeah. like the sugar and then the champagne. Usually it's like sh- the shittiest champagne they they pair with like the yeah. sugariest, you know, OJ, but yeah. I like should the buzz tell- off of like Prosecco though. Oh yeah, what were you going to say? What what are we Should tell? we should we sh- Mary and I are actually going to meet up one day, guys. It's happening soon. Oh, we won't tell you guys are. when. It is. Maybe we'll leave. Well, up yeah, we next- won't tell you exactly when, but it's happening and Katie and I it's are going to It's freaking happening, well, guys. It's like lo- Flights are Oh, it's booked. definitely happening. <laughs> I'm so excited. Flights are booked. We have to figure out hotel. But yes. Katie and I are going to Los Angeles in November. And before yeah. you get too excited about that, it's not anything crazy. I got invited to uh, be like an elite guest at some yeah. expo. And I can bring and a plus one. And I'm riding her fucking coattails, people. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring a plus one. And I was like, you want to come? And she's like, absolutely. Yeah. No absolutely. hesitation. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be like the most happening. epic I, you know, what? Watch like all these like, you know, plans where we're gonna make. What are we gonna do? We're gonna fucking sleep in. Hopefully, we're gonna miss our kids, Mary. I know it's we're gonna, gonna be, be like FaceTiming. That's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be at the end of the yep. night. Like, how are you guys? Right. I do think we should do a podcast in the hotel room, Absolutely. like together, face to face. Gotta do yeah. that. 
Yeah. It's going to have to happen. Take like a shot or not a shot. Oh my God, I would die. We'll just like take a sip of something every time. We'll, yes. we'll, do, we'll have fun with that. We'll figure It'll it be, out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's well, when in Cali, you know. Yeah, we're going to be there for like four days. So we're. Oh my God. It's like, what are we going to do? If anyone's listening, we we want like dinner wrecks. We want things to do. Like, you know, someone did tell me like, stay, you know, wherever you're staying, because we are staying downtown for a little bit. But someone's like, get out of downtown. Stay on like Santa Monica near the beach if you can, blah, blah, blah. We'll figure it out. We're so excited. Yeah. I mean, it's only one day, so we can technically stay somewhere else and just know that exactly. we have to take a car ride. I hear that LA traffic is like literally Hell. awful. Yeah. yeah. So Someone's like, you're going to be spending a lot of time in Ubers. I'm like, shit. Yeah. So, but I have friends and family out there. They can cart our asses around if we need, to, hey, with we need them to. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, I'm a excited. place called the Malibu Wine. I know you're not drinking wine. But I don't I'll know drink wine. I'll I will drink wine when I'm out there. Are you kidding? Like okay. I I reserve it for special occasions. I just like yeah. I have prosecco and stuff like that. I just haven't. Oh, prosecco is my go to. Yeah, like that's like been my go to. Yeah, there's a Mal there's a Malibu like uh, winery, and I'm like that might be fun. Like get a little day drunk with you and just laugh our fucking asses off. My my best Absolutely. best friend. He's gay. Um, he's it, not that that matters, but he's just fabulously awesome, and he's like. Maybe I'll meet up with you guys. Like he is one of those. Like he'd make he makes every occasion. Oh so God, I would love that. Yeah. No, we're gonna have so much fun. It's gonna be so good. And I'm like, well, one, I'm terrified of flying. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, you better bring your zanny bars, but, baby. <laughs> oh, I am. But I'm like, I'm glad to do it though because Kevin and I again, we're doing that London like a week and yeah. a half afterwards. So I'm yeah. like, I just need like a short trip to fly to get me ready to For get that, back what, on nine plane. hour flight. I think it's like a six. It's honestly not okay. that long. Um, okay. So it's not bad. I just am terrified. And especially because it's Kevin and I flying together, that it adds like an extra layer of like what happens. And Kevin likes to joke. He's like, we're going to be the parents of Jumanji. And I'm like, shut <laughs> the fuck up. We'll be back after a quick break. I Opening Moments podcast are real life stories of adversity, encounters, and perspectives. They are moments that can lift your spirits, give you some food for thought, or move you. For the introspective mind that likes to reflect, discover, and find solutions or meaning in a complex life, listen to Eye Opening Moments podcasts. Right. Yeah. Stop. Don't you say that a lot. Well, yeah. I'm sure there's many people listening that have the same exact fears. Like even like when Keith and I are going on a date night driving and I'm like, it's scary. Like I've actually, when Luke was little, I had these like, you know, like intrusive thoughts yeah. and we would fly up to New York a lot. I'm like, maybe we should take separate flights. Like, you know, it's, it's, I think that's a very like, uh, it's totally a thought. Yeah. 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 I mean, you think about it, but I also, I, and I try to remind myself because I do have moments and of that, like, especially at night, I always, anxiety hits me at night. I've, I've said this before. It's the worst thing ever, but Same. I will lay and I'll just think about every little thing. But when it comes to him and I flying, I'm like, I have to remind myself that like, we are in the car all the time, him and I, and I'm like, we have a much more likelihood. Like I oh, know yeah. statistics, like that we yeah. can, we're much more likely to be involved in an accident in a car. Like I am 10 times aware of that. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I, I have to that. And I'd have to remind myself, I'm like, Mary, you're not that special. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. I, I always like, <laughs> I always think of that where I'm like, Mary, like you have, it's one in 11 million. I think that's like what the statistic is of like being yeah. involved in any type of like air disaster. It's like one in 11 m- yeah. million. It's very and, like, rare. Yes. And I'm like, Mary, you're not that special. Like, cause I yeah. think that I am like, I don't know. <laughs> but well, because we'll everyone thinks it's going to happen to them, but it's not going to happen. Yeah. We're just going to put it out in the universe. That's not going to happen. But LA, here we come, baby. We're coming oh, yeah. for you. I asked Kev what would happen if, uh, do you have a hall pass? Do you, <laughs> do you have a hall pass like celebrity? You know, oh God. Yeah. Um, my, uh, there's a few, <laughs> there's a few on the <laughs> roster. Honestly, right now I have an insane crush on Harry Styles. I don't know if it's because my for you page is all it is, is Harry Styles content. But yeah. I've never had any type of crush on him until recently. He might be a hall pass. But if I see, like, I mean, if I see Brad Pitt, yeah, I mean, sorry, Bird, I'm out. 
Would Bird be okay with that though? Would Bird be like, okay, I guess no, you like, would fucking kill me. You know, he's like the <laughs> the least jealous, but jealous guy. Like it's so weird. Like he's very much like be yourself, you know, flirt around. Like he knows who I am. Like, but I'm a very I'm a Leo, so I'm extremely loyal. Yeah. Um, but I would hope that if he had a hall pass with like Megan Fox, like would I be pissed? At, but I'd be like, well, that's like a sixth degree of her, so. One of yeah, us right? has got so much to get with her, you know. Yeah, that's what I said to Kev. I was like, "So, what would happen if Chris Hemsworth walked oh my into God. the lobby yes. and saw it would be me. Theresa Mary?" <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, "Kev, I was like, what? What would happen? Like, if he looks at Katie and I, I was like, you, yeah. you too. And yeah, look I at those was, hot moms. Let's just go live in life. I would life have to do kids. it. I would have to do it. I would have to." I mean, yes, yes Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> yes, Chris Hemsworth. Oh my God! Open like, my mouth. Say, yeah. How does it matter? Bet, where do you want to put it? We all know that my <laughs> anal sex stories are on here. So maybe I'll make an exception for him. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what we need. I'll let him put a finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bird. Sorry, Bird. Anything, sorry, Mom, anything for you, listening. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, Lord. God. Can I know there's a couple of celebrities that don't like, think I we're like weird. A, no. Well, I mean, we're weird, but in a good fucking way. There's a couple yeah. celebrities that like I have like when I tell people I have a crush on, they literally give me like this look like what the hell is wrong with you? Like there's something about Machine Gun Kelly that I don't know why he's like such white trash. But I think that's who Megan Fox is with, right? Yes. But he's like he's like he's from Detroit or no, Ohio. No, he's from Cleveland. What am I talking about? And he's just like I don't know, like I was into bad boys oh, for so is long. He, like, and Okay, so Kat and Nat podcast. I don't know if you listen to them, but they yes, have a really oh, I love funny them. Episode. Yes, I love them. They had a funny episode, and I I don't know which one it was, but they were talking about their dirty fucks. Oh yeah. So it was their people that are like their grungy, like d- yeah. Dirty Machine fucks. Gun and Kelly would be my dirty fuck. It He'd was be like-, like them talking, and I feel like one of them might have said Post Malone. But- oh yeah. <laughs> But it was so funny. Their entire episode was so funny. And the way they said things was like, it's like, just like, and then they said someone else that I think is like, has a a belly on them. And they were like, yeah, I just wanted it to like, I was like, this is so fucked up. But it was so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, like, um, what's uh, Vince Vaughn? Like, he's like someone that like, I always had a crush on. He's like, not very good looking, but he has like a swagger. Yeah. There's so many dirty fucks out there. Like, um, I mean, Machine Gun think- Kelly. What's his yeah. other? Oh, like Joaquin Phoenix had a huge crush on him for so long. Yeah. He Especially weird. after he did the, um, what's the one with he, the singer, the, oh my God. Oh, Ring of Fire one, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. I mean, uh, we're definitely going to see celebrities while we're out there. I'm excited. I would I love to so. run into a Kardashian, although, you know, I know some people hate them, but. It just, I, they're like, just that they're, they're, that's their down. When you see a celebrity, do you go up to them? Are you the type of person that you'll go up okay. to them and say hello? Or will you just stand back and watch? Cause that's me. <laughs> yeah. I will never bother them unless I'm a super fan. And honestly, I'm not a super fan of anyone. Like yeah. I can't think of like one person that I'm like, I, like would be fawning over, you know, like where people like are die hard for Taylor Swift or die hard for Harry Styles or die hard for like Justin Bieber. Like there's no one that I think that I would run after and be like, Oh my God. But I will say I have been, been in circles where there are celebrities. Like I lived in Manhattan for many years. I summered in the Hamptons. Like I have seen a lot of celebrities. Um, I think the one celebrity I did go up to, I was maybe 14 years old was Chevy Chase. Okay. He was walking down the, like a little road in Sag Harbor, which is in the Hamptons. And my sister and I were like, oh my God, that was Chevy Chase. And so we turn around and we're like, are you Chevy Chase? He's like, yeah. And we're like, hey. And he was very nice. Yeah. But I don't think – I've seen other celebrities too where I'm like, oh my friggin' God, where was I? The last time I was in LA, I saw someone. I was sitting at like – we're going to see people. If we go to the okay. right places, we're going to see people. Plus, okay. you know, I'm sure we both have influencer friends that know people. We're going to run into someone. It's going to yeah. be fun. It'll be interesting. I'll be curious to see what happens because I'm trying to think who would stop me in my tracks if I would. I know. Like, I think if I saw Jennifer Aniston, 
I would definitely like, I wouldn't want to approach though. Like I don't want to approach. I just want to see them. But like, I think yes. of like, yeah, Jennifer Aniston. I even like Meryl Streep, like the big one. Oh my God. Like, I am so classic. Like Tom Hanks, like people like that yes. where I'm like, I so appreciate your movies. Like yes. I don't need anything more. I just want to tell you, I like, who doesn't like Diane Keaton, like oh my God. things like that she, where I'm like, the those OGs. are the classics. Yeah. But. Yeah, like um, there's so many. Like I, I mean, I, I'm a movie buff. I love movies. One of my favorite actors of all times time was Robin Williams, and like, what a, what oh, a shit, yeah. what a shame, his life yeah. ended the way it did. But it's we're gonna we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do out there. We're gonna do some fun stuff. Mary and I are yeah. when she was like, "Hey, would you want to come with me? The hotel that this." <laughs> This is attached to, um, I could book it, but it's only a king bed. Like, unless you want to sleep in the same bed together. I was like, Mary, it's okay. Like, I love you. But we can get separate beds. Although we, yeah. would you be the big spoon or the little spoon? I have to know. I wouldn't be any spoon. I would be right? so far same. in the opposite side. I don't want to like, I'm not a cuddler. Like, I don't mind it for a little bit, but I don't. Yeah. I, don't I need like my space. I'm an head. edge hugger. Yes. Same with me. Like I ride right on the edge and I don't really move. Like I am someone that just kind of like stays, stays in one spot in. Yeah. I think I put up a meme the other day where it was like my husband bending down at like 6am to kiss me for work. And it was like a superimposed <laughs> head onto sleeping yeah. beauty. Yes. And I saw like, that. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm like, that and, is he, me. I'm a terrible, like there are people that are pretty sleepers. I ain't one of them, baby. I ain't one of them. I no. look like Shrek. I don't even know. It Shrek's ugly, <laughs> ugly sister. Terrible. We'll like I'm always room. like, I'm. If we can share a room, I'm happy with that. If not, that's cool too. But if we do share a room, I don't give a shit. No, we've got to share the care. room. It's about the experience. We got to share. It Unless is. you don't want to share a room, I'm very good at sharing. No, room. I'm happy I, with I don't sharing a room. Yeah. No, I'm not like shy. You know, I don't care. <laughs> no, me neither. I'm. Good. I'm actually pleasant. I've been told I'm pleasant to travel with because I think I'm so easygoing that like. Nothing really bothers me. I'm not obviously, you know, I'm not a super neat freak, so it doesn't bother me. But I, but I'm well. Neat. That will be me. Yeah. See, yeah. but that's me. So like, I'm just laid back. I'm happy to go with whatever and do whatever Same. is going on. I think I'm probably a cranky traveler when I'm with Kev. <laughs> but well, I yeah. think Kev is a little bit more high maintenance than me, and sometimes that yeah. just drives me nuts. Where I'm like, can you just go with the flow a little bit? Like he's yeah. so like a little type A. S- s- Yes, he, not so much, but he's like strict about certain things. Like he definitely has yeah. OCD on certain things. Where I'm like, Can you just, yeah, like it's vacation. like he's one of those. It's like, like okay, dinner. Go. We got to go to dinner at six. Like he's one of those. Like, <sighs> yeah, he asked. What's going to be nice? Is we're not going to have be... any kids or 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 hubbies with us. I know. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, no. Kev Kev asked me about dinner at like six a.m. Like he will be like, "What do you want to do <laughs> for dinner?" And it's not even had lunch yet. And I'm like, yeah. Shut up. Like, we're, uh, have you never eaten before? <laughs> yeah, you ever- <laughs> I <don't> understand. <laughs> I know. It's uh, when we yeah. normally, when Bird and I are traveling together, um, like by ourselves, we try to sleep in, but we never do. And the yeah. last two times we were in a hotel room, I shit you not, it was like the universe was fucking with us both times. And these were like months apart. Um, someone had set the alarm for 6 a.m. And you know, you don't, oh you don't look like, you're not like, let me check the alarm and make sure it's not set both times. One was like, we were just staying at a hotel, like this was last summer and it was their first night away from the baby. Cause she was only like five months yeah. and whatever. And my in-laws had the kids for the night. We were like, okay, we got wasted the night before so bad. Bird was throwing up. But that morning, 6am, I was like, did you set the alarm? He's like, no. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then this last time, about a month ago, we were in Key West, 6am. And yeah. I'm like, these people are fucking with us. Yeah, so. it gotta be. How was Key West? Didn't you go down with your kids also? No, we went we went for my best friend's 40th and we had the time of our lives. Because yeah, if you guys down in Key West? Yeah. Or... Oh, we were in yeah, um with their the kids. kids, we were in Key Largo. So oh, if you okay. know the keys, there's upper keys and then there's like Key West, which is okay. like the, you think like when you get into Key Largo, you're like, oh, we're pretty close to Key West. No, you got about a three hour drive, even from there. So oh, it's far. Okay. And it's like one way, but The Keys, I mean, I'm so fortunate to live in Florida where, like, I'm literally seconds away from anything beautiful. I mean, you know, tourist destinations. We can go anywhere within, like, Key Largo is, like, an hour and a half from me. And that, did you see, like, I mean, that place was unreal. 
It was so, so beautiful. Aw- it looked awesome. Because I, I think you shared the the link to the hotel and I was like, I'm yeah. looking this up. Like, I was like, where yeah. can I go? This is so yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm, it's so yeah, beautiful. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. I messaged them. I was like, hi, let's work together next time. <laughs> so you should, you, know. you should. That's yeah. how it works. It's, that's but, how yeah, you for sure. It. I mean, if I can, and I've already had so many people message me about, it's called Baker's K Resort, by the way. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's expensive, but it's like, it like, like, you know, you and Kev podcasted about Disney. I, yeah. I, we've been to Disney a million times and yeah, it's great. But like, the little vacations like we just did, like the keys, like to me, that's more meaningful. Like yeah. those, those times. And yeah, like Disney yeah. is fun and everything, but like how many times can you really go to Disney? We, I mean, we live in yeah. Florida. So like, there's so many people that are big, like big Disney fans and it yeah. is fun, but you know, yeah, we want to bring Bryn, but the boys are kind of Disneyed out at this point. They're, I mean, they're, they're like, all right. Yeah. Well, and that, that's what Kevin and I were talking about. Cause we're like, what's the sweet spot? Like, what's the sweet spot of being able to like, if you did go, when would you say to go? Yeah. And it would have to be like seven, yep. seven, probably the good age. Five, six, seven. When they're really going to remember it. I mean, it is. Yeah. And if you've been and anyone listening, you, if you know, you know, like there is something magical about going there. It's an experience because it's, it feels so taboo. Like, oh my God, Disney, like it, but it, if you don't live where I live, where, you know, we get a Florida residence rate, we can, we could literally go there for the day. I mean, it's a three hour drive, but if you're out of state, it is wildly expensive. It's like no. actually absurdly obs- expensive. The flights, the hotel, the eating there, like it's actually crazy how yeah. like people have gone into debt to, to just to take their kids to Disney. It's like, don't do that. Well, do it. It, well, what drove me nuts about it, and again, I like made this TikTok about it, and you may yeah. have seen it on TikTok because I didn't bring I did. it over to Instagram, but it was like I was like talking about how much it costs, and I was like, this is absolutely absurd, and it almost like as a it's, principal now, I'm like, fuck this, I don't want to even go because like, yeah, I one hate spending money as it is, so I'm like, yeah. to spend money, <laughs> I would do it if I could like justify it. I was like, hey, whatever, I don't know. One day, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but if uh, it's going to take major pulling at me to like make this happen. Yeah. But uh the people in the comment section were like, yeah, like credit cards are a big thing. And I'm like, yeah. what are we doing? Like, why yeah. are we doing this? And then and then the other half was like, no, you have to go through a Disney travel agent. You have to like be able to talk to them. They know how to get you all the deals. And or other people are like, you have to go every time you go to the grocery store, you buy a Disney gift card and then you you have money and then you only use that when you go to the park. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I appreciate the strategy that you're putting into wanting to go yeah. and that you love going. And I appreciate that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> like at it's, the end I of mean, the day, it's, it's such still, an expense. It's such an expense. And if it takes that much strategy to save money, think about the people that don't go that far and are spending wallops of money and probably can't afford to, if they probably aren't edu- not educated, if they're probably not aware enough to get the help to strategize, yep. then they yeah. probably, I don't know. I'm making an assumption here. They probably don't have necessarily they like, don't have money. all the finances in the world or no. where, like, yeah. And there's, there's ways to do Disney. Like we don't eat in the parks. Like we do not, yeah. you can pack a full cooler. As long yeah. as it fits in your stroller, we don't eat there because that's literally fifty dollars for lunch. Um, yeah. I hear now I think it's like one hundred eighty-five dollars a day just to get into the park. That doesn't include anything, it, or I mean it, it, yeah. the rides. But it's just crazy. And then like for someone like you, like you're a family of five, you'd have to get a hotel. You know, it's like, and then you want to, and and when you're out of state and you don't have a car. You'd want a hotel that is a Disney property because they have all the shuttles and every, all the amenities and all the things like my cousin, um, she's taking her son next week for his 10th birthday. He's been, he's been asking to go. She's a school teacher. She does pretty well. Actually, she works out on Long Island, but she's like, it's taken me a long time to save up for this. And I've had to dip into savings, but she's like, we're doing it. We're doing it for seven or I think six days, which that is a long time in Disney. And if anyone, if you are listening and you're planning a Disney trip, you do not, you do not need that many days in a, in those parks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's, you know, yeah. go to Orlando, enjoy the sun and the hot weather, do the parks, you know. But yeah, Disney is, there are some like crazy, I know crazy Disney people that are there all the time. 
all the time. And that's, and that's another thing that like confuses me where I'm like, how, <laughs> how, like yeah. I get that there's like annual passes and Florida residents get it. Like, yes. I still don't understand it. I, I don't understand I know. it. I mean, if you go down a Reddit trail of like, like ragging on Disney adults, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Oh, I don't know. One of my cousins, if she, I don't know if she listens to this podcast, but she's a, she's a big Disney adult. But let me tell you, like, every, like the last four times we went to Disney, we brought her and we paid yeah. for her hotel because she knows what the hell she's doing. She's gone yeah. enough times. She's like, you go at rope drop. And I'm like, what the fuck is rope drop? And she's like, it's right when they open the park, you go right away. You, you run to where you want to go. I'm like, oh. And like, when you experience Disney with a Disney adult, it does make you kind of enjoy it a little bit more because they're so giddy. But yeah, the yeah. money is just disgusting. Like, yeah. put me, I'd rather spend the money, go to Aruba, bring a nanny, because you're spending that much money anyway, you know? Might as well exactly. bring someone and exactly. do like a, a tropical beach vacation. To me, that is like, that. I That's don't want to be sweaty, I'd irritable no. kids. They're overstimulated. They're, you know, it's just long days. That's what I picture. Oh. That's what I picture. And I'm like, no, thank you. No. Yeah. And then like, when we look back, like Bryn, we brought Bryn, my, if you guys are listening, I have a, a one-year-old daughter. We did bring her for her first birthday. And we met Mickey and it was like, she was like, oh my gosh, like what? It was really cute, but you know, it's, it is what it is. It's, it, it, you don't have to go. Yeah. No. Don't ever feel pressured to go. No, don't feel Come to Florida. There's so many other places in Florida. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't feel pressured to do anything. That's the thing about. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking at people's social media, like, oh, look, they went to Disney for the fourth time this year. the odds are either one, they have a lot of money and they can afford it, or two, they're going into hawk over yeah. over it. No thanks. Yeah. No. I'd rather yeah. be in debt over, you know, refi- you know, doing something in my house than yeah. going to Disney. Well, speaking of like looking at people's Instagram pages, because obviously we were saying like the week before our periods, we get like all oh crazy and imposter syndrome and comparing whatever. I said to uh, Jenna from the Snuggle is real. If you guys don't follow her, her, you totally should. But we were talking, and I was like, "She's so I great." Feel like the most boring person here on this app, and that's just me being exaggerating. But I was like, "Summertime right now." We talked about this. It sucks sometimes, but everyone I see right now is doing some sort of adventure, and I'm like, "I don't yeah, do like, that." Why is everyone in Europe? I don't know. I don't. Everyone's know. in fucking Europe, and I'm like. And they're not just there for a week. They're there for like a month. Like, yeah. do you work? Like, what? Like, how do, what's so I crazy know. I feel like me. everyone's just got like that or like all these new outfits that they're showing or whatever. And I'm like, how are you guys like doing this? And I don't know. Maybe I'm just not motivated, but I'm like, I don't know what I am I'm missing. I'm on a spending also, freeze. <laughs> yeah. Amazon well, Prime Day, What? Like, yeah, I'm getting a lip filler touch up in two weeks. So mama's saving her money for that. But hell um, yes. Oh yeah. How how is the dissolver going? Because I need to do the same fine. thing. It's a little like bruise still there, but I actually yeah. like I mean, I think it impacted a little bit on this side where I can tell like it's gone okay. down a little bit. But they don't look bad. I'm just gonna get it a little no. like plumped and then yeah. call it a day. And I think I'm doing a little bit in my chin to help balance it out. Which I'm like, yeah, facial about. balancing is huge. It's like, yeah, she promised. And it. the girl that I'm going to, she's like phenomenal. And her work is, she's like the top rated injector in New Jersey. So amazing. She was like, she's like, we do it. It's balancing. It's not going to make you look crazy. It's literally no. just because your lips get bigger. You want to make sure it's all like, yes. In and make sure line. whoever's listening, if you are looking into aesthetics, don't just go to some like dentist. No, you need oh God, to go to no. someone that knows what the hell they're doing. Look at their Instagram. Make sure they know what they're doing. Make sure they have been, had certain amount of hours of training. Like it's so important. Yeah, yeah. you got to have face yeah. after all. Yeah, but anyway, I was talking about summer, and I was like, summer sucks right now. I don't like the summer very Sox. much. Like I'm, I'm not really in a. This is like a great summer mood yeah. so far, especially up in New Jersey. If anyone's like in this area, like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, I know that we've all been kind of, or Maryland, like we've all been kind of getting like the sim- same shit between yeah. wildfire smoke. If it's not yeah. raining buckets, we're just stuck inside because of air quality being so yeah. bad. It's, and that's like, terrible. It's like bumming me out because I'm like, I don't know what to do with the kids. And then even if that wasn't a problem, I yeah. – 
am frustrated because I'm just like, I thought last summer was hard. Like last summer I had a five month old. Like we both had like kids at close in age. Like that was tough yeah. because you're strapped down by a newborn, but it was yes. different. It wasn't as like, yeah, because they- it was just, it was different. Our girls different are running. Part. If you guys watch either of our stories, like Haley is like full blown running, putting on ma- costumes. Oh my God. Please, w- yeah. please post every time she puts on her little mask. Like I can't I even know, handle so it. <laughs> and like Bryn is literally climbing the rafters. Uh, yeah. The girl's not. So yeah. it's, and it's very hard. This, I forgot Mary, how hard this stage, this year and a half stage. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, she's into everything. She's starting to get her own personality. She said no the other day. And I was like, oh, here we go. She was like, no. And I'm like, up, oh, yep, there we go. Yep. Now all yep. three are going to talk back. Fucking great. Shoot me now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. And that's, it's literally yet. And I was saying the, because Cassidy, we've been having like a little bit of a rough patch with Cassidy. And I swear it's always around the half mark. It's always around the half yeah. mark with each of my kids. And yes. I feel like after a while it stabilizes and then it fucking amps up again. But she's around five and a half years old and she's had a really hard time with listening lately where I'll tell her not to do something and she will continue to do it anyway. Or she'll wait for me to leave the room and then do it. Or of course. she will lie and like, for example, like I told her she wanted a, like an ice cream cone in the middle of the afternoon. And I told her, no, I go upstairs to put yeah. Haley down for a nap. I come downstairs and I know that she's, she's not anywhere to be found. So I go down in the basement and she is sitting there and she tucks something down and I'm like, are yep. you kidding? And she stole an ice cream cone and she was like trying to deny it. And I was like, no, but it's like constant yeah. stuff like that where I'm like, what is happening? Like going yeah. on, but it's um, probably the age boredom. They're testing boundaries right now. Like, yeah. I am tested every day and it like unlocks a new level of um, motherhood for me because I actually can dig really deep now to find my patients and like try to self-regulate, although the other day I could not. But they're testing boundaries. They don't know and they're like, fuck it. I want to do this. And like, yeah, like, and they'll say, well, you can do it. Yeah, I'm an adult and I've, I've learned life and I'm still learning life. You got, you guys are, I have to tell the boys all the time. Like, I don't like to say I'm the boss. I don't like that, but I'm like, listen, I'm trying to raise you guys to be respectful and learn boundaries and everyone needs to learn boundaries. And like, now we talk a lot about boundaries, but it's hard because I have a, I have a pantry that they can literally open up and get any snack. And one of my best friends, she's like, Katie, you need to move all those snacks up high where they can't see them and they can't reach them. And I'm like, I know. But it's hard. That, that, yeah. And that age, that five and a half age, ooh, spice. Yeah. I Spicy. like it. I like it because she is really helpful and a lot of the moments are really fun. But then in certain moments like that where it just – it makes me question sometimes where I'm like, are we doing something wrong? Like are we – I know. And I, I You're know not. Kev gets, no. And I know that. And it's just like it gets in the – whatever gets in my head. But Kev gets uber sensitive to it. And I finally called yeah. him out for it. Because yeah. he like got really like he gets really upset when she lies. Like he she he just immediately is like absolutely not. This isn't happening. And he just also he's a police a little, officer. Like yes, so it's that. But tr- like it's like projecting a bunch of like worries and trauma almost that Kev has witnessed that I'm like onto yeah. her and I'm like, dude, you gotta you gotta nip that because I'm like right at the end of the day she's still only five years old. Like we have to remind exactly. ourselves of that. I know I'm constantly reminding myself. I'm like, what do I really expect of like, just, just now before Mary and I got on, I was like, Mary, I'll be on in 10 minutes. Keith's on shift. My husband's on shift. I have all three kids tonight. I had to get all them down because I'm like, they cannot bother me while I'm recording. And my boys literally fist fought like 10 minutes before I was getting on here. And it's just, it's so hard because I'm trying to like self-regulate myself and then tell my six-year-old stop crying. But he just got slapped and punched to the face by my nine-year-old. And I'm like, all right, what do I really expect of him? Like he's, he's hurt, you know? And then yeah. I just held him. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to try and like yell at anyone. I'm just going to hold. Obviously I made my older yeah. one apologize. And he's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. But like, you know, and I explained consequences. This is what happens when you guys put your hands on each other. Someone could get hurt. But, and I wanted yeah. my six-year-old to shut up and stop crying because I needed to get on here to talk to you. But I gave him his moment. Like he needed a snuggle and he needed to cry on me. And I was like, you know what? That's if that's what he needs, 
it's he's not going to need me forever, which is also like kind of a hard pill to swallow sometimes. They're not always going to need us and it's not always going to be this way. And no. I know like yeah, everyone no. always says like, you're going to miss this. And I know Katie put out Katie's for all. If you guys follow her, she's awesome too. She just put out that reel today about like, you know, everyone's telling us you're going to miss this, but sometimes are we going to miss it? But I know I will, but in the moment I will yeah. not miss it. <laughs> I won't. No. And I, I talked to her because it was funny that she put that out because we, I literally was about to like get a TikTok and just, I was in such a mood today and I was yep. so tired. And I commented the same thing that I was like planning on saying in a TikTok, but I was like, I am so tired of digging through the rubble to find the few specks of beauty that I know are there. But like at some point I'm tired, like I'm yeah. so tired of constantly yeah. having to do that. And I feel like that's the state of motherhood that I'm in where I'm constantly rummaging through shit. <laughs> like yeah. if that's all I'm doing to find the few specs that help me keep yeah. on going and I'm willing to do it, but I'm also exhausted. <laughs> like Ex I'm just so Well, tired. yeah. Cause you're chasing that glimmer and we all, as mothers, we all get it. Like when Haley says mama or the kids interact really cutely or there's moments, but then like there's moments where I'm literally looking right now at my room cause I'm sitting on my bed and I'm like, holy shit, how did I let my room get this bad? And it's because I'm tapped out and yeah. I'm exhausted. Like at the end of the day, like all the kids are sleeping right now and okay, yeah, the dishes are done, but there's always something that's left over that makes me, I'm, I'm just too tired at the end of the day. Yeah. I, really? Yeah. I mean, I'm tired all day, but especially at the end of the day. That's been me lately. I, and I even like, I, I feel like I'm in also like a stage because of where I'm at with like the kids and Haley being yeah. all over the place. Like I don't, I used to be someone that prided myself and I still do, but I like get myself dressed daily. I make beds daily. Like I've always done makeup daily. I was I like, you always look so beautiful. Like your makeup's always on point. That's one Thank thing you, I, like lately, right now. I've lately, I don't, lately I hardly ever do it. And it's just, it's becoming more and more days full of me not doing that where yeah. I'm like, this isn't like feeling great. Like, or I'm going to bed more with my kitchen. Like I, I don't want to down counter. I, I go to bed with a big full sink. Like these are things that I've like promised myself that I was going to do that. I'm slowly slipping away from doing yes. because I'm so tired. So what do you think will get you back to center there? Like what, what, what do you think would help? Yeah. I don't know. Time, time. And time. I just, I have to just like be cognizant of it, but I think time and I need summer, I need summer to be over. That's honestly the, we, the answer. I mean, if you all. listen to our last <laughs> podcast, I said summer is brutal on parents. It's fucking brutal. And honestly, like I never want, you never know, like, there's 18 summers with your kids. Yeah. Summers are hard, man. Like, you know, I remember my mom literally losing her shit her biggest shit storms when she was screaming at us was always either on like a winter vacation. Those are the worst yeah. because I grew up in the Northeast where it was, you can't go outside. It's fucking negative 40 degrees. We lived in a small yeah. house, like, or it's summer and yeah. you know, it's like, get out of the house, go do something. I mean, I remember my dad one time came home, we were all just watching TV and this thing, the TV was like the iPad of the, those days. Right. Like, and he yeah. took the cable box and he brought it to work with him. It like forced us to go outside, you know, but like my mom, cause he saw my yeah. mom being like visibly like over it. And I mean, yeah. it's, it's a lot. Like every mom wakes up on the first day of school and is like, oh, okay. Except for the yeah. moms that have little babies at home. <laughs> is Cassidy yeah. I don't know. I, or it's, camp? It's, no, because that's the yeah. other problem. They're too little. So like I Cassidy, I don't know if there is something that I can find, but even anything yeah. I did find for her, it's only three hours for one week Yeah, for like three hours per day for one week. And I'm like, yeah. I, it's during nap times. Like that doesn't yeah. really, it, it's so hard. And Kev today was like, well, do you want to take the kids out? Like, cause I had even woke up this morning and entertained the thought of taking them out to like an aquarium yeah. or something. Yeah. And I was like, no. And I was, and I was talking to my sister on the phone. She's like, Mary, are you making excuses? And I was like, Catherine, literally think about this right now. It's like, I have three kids. I yeah. have five and a half, almost four and the 16 month old, 17 month old. And I was like, yeah, it's wild. And I said, if I didn't have the elements to contend with, so like getting out in the pouring rain, that's a yeah. lot of fun with three kids. I said, yeah, so nap I have time. that. <laughs> 
nap time, which I'm not someone that can just be lenient with naps. I'm not like I've had people on Instagram before message me being like, get better about not structuring naps and stuff like that. No, (laughs) no, because then it fucks your whole day. It fucks my whole day and it fucks my whole night because if Haley is too tired, she will sleep like shit. Yes. So it doesn't do anything good for me. Mama, when she's tired, is not a happy person. And that's not fun. So I don't touch that. But then also, like, anytime we can go out, like, even going to Target is a hellhole. Like, it's just... Oh, it's insane. I have... It's insane. And then Haley doesn't want it. She's also at the age now that she doesn't want to sit in the stroller. She doesn't yep. want to sit in the, in the cart. She Same wants with to Bryn. walk and she wants to do everything that the kids are doing, which yep. is so cute, except for when you're out and about. Yeah. Because you're like, so, well, then there's that feeling of like, is someone going to fucking steal my kid? Like I make the, I too. make all the kids yeah. Yeah, go in the cart. I'm like everyone stay close to me. No one run. No well, one that, run past And I don't me. feel adequately, I don't feel like adequately equipped to be able to like keep my eyes on all three of all them. them. One. So there's the safety aspect. Like we got invited to bring, um, Spencer got invited to a birthday party this Sunday at a po- yeah. our, our like public pool. And I'm like, I will try and come if I can get a babysitter. But if not, yeah. she's like, well, the whole family is welcome. And I said, I totally understand that. But it's only just me because Kev is gone for the weekend. Yep. And I was like, I cannot go by myself with three kids and keep an eye on my two and also Haley. It's just not safe. So it was like, I can't make that happen. It's I don't know what I'm going to totally do. Totally insane. But- insane. Especially if those aren't people that like, like I went to two parties over the weekend with three kids. Now on Saturday, it's not a baby friendly home. There's teenage kids living in this house and there are friends and, but the baby was running amok and I couldn't enjoy myself. So Keith and I were tag teaming the baby and everyone was outside. And of course I want to have adult conversation, but everyone's outside. But guess what? There's a pool in the backyard and there's no pool fence. So I was inside with the baby or Keith was inside with the baby. Did we enjoy ourselves? No. And then the next day yeah. I went to a pool party with at my very best friend's house. And luckily there's like six of my best friends that were helping me with the baby, but it was like, I couldn't relax because she doesn't swim and there's a pool. It's just like danger zone. You know, it's just, that, and if yeah. you take it, well, yeah, if you take your, your eyes off for, for a second, it, takes it doesn't a matter second. if it takes 10 seconds. It's not even that it's like five seconds for five seconds. Strong. And even it's my like, boys terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Who are great swimmers. I don't ever, I'm, even though they're literally great swimmers, anything can happen. Like, so it's, I don't blame you. And I had a friend, I have a girlfriend that, um, she had three kids before me and I would invite her to the kids. Like, you know, my kids were a little bit younger to a party. And she's like, Oh, sorry. Like can't come. Like I have the kids by myself. And I thought, wow, like why would she just come with the three kids? And now I get it. It's so much fucking yeah. work. It's yeah. so much work. Like even just one kid is work, but People with like more than two, it's, it's because now you're, you literally don't have enough hands <laughs> to yeah. wrangle them. Yeah. Like the yeah. boys wanted, the boys are, have been dying to go to the mall, right? Um, for a pretzel, one of those Annie, Aunt Annie's pretzels. They love them. Yeah. But ever since that shooting happened in whatever mall it was that I don't, it was recently, I cannot yeah. go to a mall with my kids because yeah. if something happens like that, I don't have enough hands and I'm sure that I'm not the only mother that has thought of this. Like, would I throw them all on top of Bryn and just fucking scoot and oh, try? Oh, I brought it up when we went to the 4th of July par- uh, parade. Oh my God. We yeah. To in Martha's yeah. Vineyard. I brought it up uh, to my family before we left and I was like, we need a game plan. And my sister thought I was so crazy. And then I got it's it so into important. her head. So we're like, before we went, she's like, so what are we doing? <laughs> yes. And my mom was like, Mary, Catherine. And I'm like, no, seriously though, like if all of a sudden we hear like who is grabbing who and where yes. are we running, like what's yes. going on, and it's so fucked up that I have to think that way, but it's right, it's not, it's it's there's good reason for it, but I'm like, look what I happened think that all the time, or yeah, Chicago that happened last summer at the Fourth of July parade and right outside Chicago, Highland, yeah, Highland Park, yeah, Highland Park. Yeah. So like, yeah. yeah, like those those type of moments, and I don't ever want to be like skittish of like I I'll leave my house, but. I'm always thinking like, okay, if I, I'm one of those though, like if something happens, what would I do? Like do even you we carry? Went to, do you carry? Um, I don't, uh, it's, we don't have a, we don't have any guns in the house. I'm not opposed to guns. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I would like one for myself. I haven't, I mean, we live in Florida, baby. It's like the wild, wild west down here. Yeah. Um, but 
I have girlfriends. I mean, all of my girlfriends are police officers or in law enforcement in some capacity. So it's funny, like when we'd have girls wine nights and they knew I have, you know, kids, they'd be like, where can I put my bag? Meaning my gun is in my bag. I don't want your kids getting it. Where can I put it? And that's what I love about them. But I have a lot of friends that open carry everywhere we go. Like I was just at the beach with my girlfriend. She's like, I got my gun in my bag. Just FYI. I'm like, all right. But I would love to, I would love to own my own gun, but I want to know how to really properly use it and have the training. Yeah. Because I feel like even, even the most trained, and I'm sure Kev can attest to this, the most trained of officers, when you're in a situation, sometimes you freeze, sometimes things happen, you know, so, but I know, but I I would like to be able to protect my kids. (laughs) Yeah, no, I have I mean, no idea. He, I make him leave me one every time because we have them in the house. Yeah, he's a police officer, so of course we have his. And I, my dad has like my his rifles and stuff, but Kev has yeah. them at my dad's house. New Jersey's really strict with gun laws, so yeah, they are. It's really hard, and I say it all the time because I think that's one of the worst things about taking my three kids out is that yeah. I like I hate buckling them into their car seats because yes. I don't like the feeling that my back is turned and I can't see. So a lot Mary, of times, one hundred percent. And because of a minivan, I'll actually load them in and I'll close both doors behind me and then I'll crawl in through the middle. Yeah. Like and up because yeah. I just, I'll lock the doors and that way we can get in. And Especially the babies because they take even more time. Like you got to like, and if then they might fight you, like, you know, and it's now we have a, the yeah. brand new Tahoe, which I love, but I have to yeah. like heave ho her in. And yeah. it's just, I know. Uh, and because it's a new car, I'm, I find myself or new truck parking farther away. And I'm like, this isn't really smart. Me alone with three kids. Like, I don't care if my car gets dinged, like whatever, you know, but I know these are the things that like our parents didn't have to worry about this shit. It's, Oh, I mean, we could literally unpock this whole thing in another podcast. Like it's like, you know what we, who there, there, there's a lot of really good resources about like how to protect yourself and like all these things. I, know. But I should find out. We should find something and we could bring it on. But yeah, I'm like, because we should like be the, aware. I hate that feeling. Like I hate that feeling. Ugh, and I hate that. Work. I say it to Kev all the time. I'm like, that's another reason why I don't like going out. I'm like, I, it takes, yeah. it would take a second. And I said, I, I don't care what anyone says. If someone Kevin size came up to me and tried to assault me or tried to get something from me, he would win. He would, he win. would win. Yeah. And that's what they do. They usually try to go after, you know, vulnerable women with, you know, that, I mean, honestly, like if someone were to try to rip one of the kids out of my hands, yeah. Like my mama bear strength would, but you can't take me and then like a 250 pound man. That's like six, five, like, no, I I don't care how strong I could be. Like, it's just, it's the, these are like fucking intrusive, paralyzing thoughts that literally keep me up at night. Swear to God. Yeah. I just watched a TikTok of a dad at a ball game with his 15 year old daughter. She went to the bathroom. She got literally abducted by these sex traffickers. They had her for a week. Oh my God. A fucking week. She was 15. He's like, of course I'm going to let my 15 year old go to the bathroom by herself. She's 15. Yeah. Nope. No one just know that you're never safe. And I mean, I'm not so, I'm not that paranoid, but I am paranoid. (laughs) No, I would be. I I would be, especially with our girls. Like with it, we have girls that we have to like think about, and I hate that. I hate that feeling. Me off. Yeah, yeah, I hate like, that. Like I have I have moments, and I the first time I actually thought about it recently was in Martha's Vineyard. There was like a story that I came on on my phone, and I said I'm by myself for the first time this entire trip, and yeah, I walked down yeah. to town. My parents live about half a mile from the main street, so, so awesome. I walked down to town, and it's like this quaint little like New England. Walk. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So pretty. On, on the way back, I just I knew that there was people behind me, but I knew that there was a man behind me walking, and I kept wanting to turn. And yeah. it was fine; it all was fine. But I just then was thinking about it afterwards, and I was like, "This sucks." I was like, "This like there are certain moments where I'm like, this is really shitty. Like this is shitty that I have to think about this because I guarantee you, Kevin has never once." looked over no. his shoulder at because a woman was behind him like never never and years. here's the thing like how about everyone that's listening that has boys and listen hard fucking raise good men yeah it's not always their fault i know sometimes it's just like whatever but a lot of it ha- it's very scary unfortunately there's always a target on us women's back and we'll never get away from it until 
things change. And I, I don't know if things will ever change when it comes to that. I like know. I lived in New York City for many years and I, I felt very un- – I've been followed a million times. Yeah. I've been approached um, of so many times. I've been told, smile. Why don't you smile? Yeah. All these things. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, and now I have these two yeah. little boys and I look at them and I'm like, if, I swear to fucking God, if yeah. you ever – Oh, like, you know, embarrass me or, you know, but, and that's why, you know, and I, I heard this quote, parenting is hard only for the good parents. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's say that again. Absolutely. Parenting is hard only for the good parents, because if it's hard for you, it means you're doing the right thing. It is absolutely. so easy to let them free reign and, and let the inmates run the asylum. And I say, no, <laughs> I'm yep. going to raise No, or if you're kids. exhausted, if you're tired- good. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a, I mean, it's not a good thing. Right? I don't want anyone to be tired, but at the same time, like you're putting in the work like, yeah. in the long run, we we're never going to regret doing our best for our kids because they deserve the best of us. And even if they don't get the best of us all the time, they don't know that they don't know that they just love us and they see our success all the time. So, and showing up every day is hard as shit. And like today, tomorrow, I'm going to have to wake up and get these and do it all over again. And man, I have to work and I'm like, shit, how am I going to do this? But every day I end up doing it somehow. And, yeah. you know, I love those little shitheads. Yeah. Think about all the hard days that you've had that you're like, how am I ever going to get through this? And now you're here. <laughs> if you're oh here God. listening, which means and you're that you made it And you're fucking killing it. <laughs> Listen to me. Whoever's listening, you're killing it. You're the baddest bitch on the block. Don't ever forget it. Yes. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up today's episode, but, um, oh, oh, should I tell about the name change or should I make that a separate ooh, podcast yeah. and let them know? Oh, maybe, ooh, maybe lure them in. Okay. So there's going to be a name change and I'll let you know as to what that's, what that's going to be. Another <laughs> clever idea episode. of Mary's. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be taking a two week hiatus at the end of August so mm-hmm. I can make these changes happen. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Big things are coming people. So. Woohoo. Stay All right. Tuned. Well, we'll see you next time, guys. All right. Woo-hoo. Bye. Another episode down. Thank you all so much for listening. If you love today's episode, I would be so appreciative if you would leave a rating and review. I cannot begin to tell you how much those mean to me, but also how much they help me get in front of more eyes and more ears. As always, be sure to check back every Tuesday and Friday for a new episode, whether it's an episode with me, me and my husband, me and Katie, or just another incredible amazing guests. Stay tuned for more honest, real, raw chit chat. And hey, do me a favor before you go. Remind yourself how amazing you are, how enough you are, how special you are. And boy, oh boy, I sure am glad to have you here. Thanks, friend.